Hi, I'm Phil from RDM Test Equipment. Um, we're just here today with um, a couple of pots, uh, typical food pots, um, to have a look at the seal integrity of these. Um, we're using a Checker Pack uh, 200 leak and burst tester um, set up to um, measure the seal integrity of these packs. So let's just uh, move that out of the way and we'll get on for t doing some testing. So the I actually know, we've got two packs here, I actually know one of these packs leaks, but I don't know which one leaks. Um, so my colleague has kind of given me these two packs, so let's work it out. So the first thing we do is we put on a little rubber septum, that enables us to get a needle into the pack uh, with a perfect seal around the needle. So the needle's on a little device like this, uh, which pops up and down. So I'm just going to adjust this down a little bit, it just needs to come down to there. So the top of the needle will go into the pack but not into the liquid inside it. So we'll just pop that through like so and we're perfectly inside the pack now. So on the checker pack I've already got it uh, set up to do a leak test but let me show you what's going to happen. So we'll press the start button on here um, and you'll see the pack over here is, is inflating. Um, we're taking it up to a pressure and then we're looking to see what airflow comes out of the seals or any pinhole leaks uh, that are present in that pack. So various numbers on here, but really the most important number is this number here. This is the equivalent hole size in microns. So this is telling me that this pack, um, well, it will tell me in a minute once it's settled down, um, it'll be telling me what the, what the hole size is for that, for that pack. So I can see straight away that it's below five microns. So, I mean, that's really, you know, it's, um, it's, it's below the level of detection. It's, it's a very, very small hole size. Um, these other numbers, by the way, this is the pressure in millibars that we are holding that pack at. And this is the flow in SCCM um, that we're having to put into the pack to maintain this pressure. And as you can see, it's zero. So the pack is holding pressure uh, perfectly. So that's the leak test on the first one. So I would say that is the pack that is not leaking. Okay, so let's just switch it over so the test has ended. I'll just pop that one out and put a septum on this pack, pop the needle in, and then let's show you again. I'll, I'll leave the camera pointing at this so you can see the initial inflation as we start the test. So you can just see the lid lifting up a little bit. And in fact, actually, if you look closely, you can see where the leak is already. It's around here. Just there, look. You can just see a little bit of liquid coming out. There's a tiny little pinhole. And now on the instrument, let's have a look, see what's happening now. So what we're seeing now is a, is a, is a high airflow going into the pack to try and maintain 50 millibars. Well, we can't get there. We can only get up to 30, 32 millibars. And that's then resolving that flow into a hole size, um, and it's telling me around 66 microns is the whole size of a pack, that pack. So quite clearly, um, it's very easy to identify um, a leaky pack, whether it's a pinhole or whether it's a channel leak. Um, so as I said, this is the Checker Pack 200 instrument. Um, so if you'd like to know any more information, um, our website is www.rdm, so that's Romeo Delta Mike Test.com, rdmtest.com. Thanks very much. Bye for now.